Rockford's home for Classic Rock, 96.7 The Eagle. Double T Mornings powered by Rockford Casino, a hard rock opening act. I am Double T. Very special guest joining me. He's going to be playing down at the Mississippi Band Shell tomorrow, part of the Music in the Park series with the Rockford Park District. Ernie Hendrickson. Ernie, how you doing this morning? Double T. Great to be with you, man. I am doing great. It's been a while since I've had a chance to talk to you. So what have you been up to? What have you been doing this summer? Lots going on in the world of Ernie Hendrickson. Double T, I've been doing the same thing since I was 16 years old. (laughs) (laughs) Isn't it funny how it works like that? (laughs) It is. And it's funny because gigs pay the same, too. (laughs) (laughs) You get paid? What? (laughs) Uh, A little bit. Uh, Just enough to keep you coming back. No. uh, Yeah, I've been, you know, I'm I'm blessed to uh, live a life playing music that's about uh i mean that's the reward i get but yeah i'm real busy playing and um having a great summer it goes goes fast yeah it goes really fast do you find yourself doing more shows in the summertime because of the nice weather and outside and stuff absolutely it's it's kind of the busy season for music i guess um I guess everything slows down in the winter, but <laughs> I mean, it, it's, uh, I, I'm so busy. I can't really even, uh, keep track of it all. Uh, <laughs> it's just, a, it's just a blaze. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you think about it and you, and you grew, you grew up in the, in the Rockford area and playing in bands in the Rockford area. You know, what does it mean to you to be able to play a venue like the Mississippi band show? Well, there's for me there's a there's multiple layers uh, of meaning with that particular place. Um, yeah, I mean there there was always you know there's memories of playing there in the seed band, and then I've I've had different bands uh, over the years since the seed band that have been back to play there. So there's there's the history of it. There's just the beautiful setting of that park, and there are also two memorial benches in that park. I'm not sure if you knew about that. I did not, um, no. Yeah, yeah. So there is a little bit past the the main, like the first seating area, there's two benches that uh, one of them was put there for the drummer for the seed band, Jason Phillips, <clears throat> when he passed. And, and then another dear friend to the band, um, also passed Matt Brown, and they were really good friends, Jason and Matt. So there's those two benches in that park dedicated to those two people um, who are near and dear to my heart. And so I always think of them, and I always think of the seed band in the old days when we play there. Yeah, I mean, you know, and and you don't think about stuff like that, but it's really a good place, especially for somebody that loves music, to have a memorial set up at the Mississippi band show there so they can always enjoy the music because their spirit will be there with the music. That is a good point. It's, it's ex- exactly why they wanted to do it there. And I don't know if they can, they may be the last uh, permits that they were giving for that kind of thing. I'm not sure if they're, you know, but, but they were able to do it and I was really glad. Talk a little bit about your time here in Rockford uh, as a kid playing music, you know, with the seed band when you were younger and just getting started. Well, um, Rockford was an awesome place for me to be, you know, and I, I, I was joking when I said I've been doing the same thing since I was 16 years old, but it's basically true. <laughs> <laughs> um, because, you know, I was a Jayhawk, I was a Jefferson Jayhawk, and I got, uh, I got into the the school band over there and it was like, at that point I had found my people, you know, like I was really lucky that that happened early enough for me. I know there's a lot of people that, you know, continually try to figure out what they want to do with, you know, their job and everything. But I kind of knew right away when, you know, I got in front of an audience and, you know, heard, you know, heard that excitement uh, after you finish a song and I was like, yeah, I could just keep doing this. Um, 
So we formed a band. Uh, Jason, the drummer, went to Auburn, and we were, you know, practicing in his basement. And I remember, I remember being um, fifteen or sixteen years old when we first started playing out. I know we we played a, a normal rally over at Luigi's, you know, like the <laughs> <laughs> the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Law. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and look, it works because it's legal now. <laughs> See, it all because of you boys playing that show. It, it made this huge change in, in the state politics. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take some credit. You know, give credit where credit's due. <laughs> no, but it was it was great. Um, you know, so we started there in the basement of Luigi's. I, I mean, does that place still exist? I, Luigi's Pizza you know, in State. I I want to say no. I haven't heard about it in a long time, but I don't I don't want to say so for the sure. Chinese restaurant upstairs. Yeah, because I remember and, going there. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that was a little hot spot for a while. But then, you know, the cool thing about Rockford was, especially at that time, it had the waterfront. I mean, right. that was a huge deal, you know? And eventually we'd get gigs there. And then um, there were there was the, the Davis Park Fourth of July stuff. And there was a lot of things that, for an up-and-coming musician, you know, seemed like really big shows, you know? And we would get our hands on those things and... Um, it, it was just a great place to, to cut your teeth as a musician. You know, and, and at one point did you decide, I want to do music for life. Like, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to pursue. It was never really, uh, as soon as I started doing it, I, it was there, there was never really a point where I said, I'm going it, to, it's just like, like when it came point to, it came to the point where I, I was going to go to college. I knew I wanted to go to college because, I don't know, I, I feel like uh, my brain, at, at I graduated high school at 17, and I was still I was still a kid, you know? Like, I know in the 1800s, you know, when you're 17, you're, you're ready to start a family and run a farm or whatever, but, like, I was still just, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just still a kid, you know? So I, I was like, okay, I'll stay in school. I'll go to college, but it was... Uh, there was never any question. It was I was going to study music. You know, I just I I just knew I was going to stay in music right from the beginning. So I don't know if there was any one point because I had already just discovered that you could make money doing it. You know, and <laughs> I was like, well, why would I do anything else? <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, and that's what I tell kids all the time. I said, you know what? It, it, when you're trying to figure out, and you're a kid, and, and not a lot of kids know what they're going to do right away, but, you know, when when you find something you love, if you can make it into a career, do it. Because you want to be happy, because there's so many people out there that are miserable each and every day going into work. And, you know what, making music, there could be a lot worse things to do for your life, isn't it, Ernie? I have to say yes. I mean, <laughs> and and I know it's kind of unfair, because, um, you know, music is, is in the arts and, you know, there's, there are only so many, I guess, uh, ways to make a living in the arts. Um, but that thing that you're talking about, find something that you love to do. I do believe that that is the most important thing to try to do. And, and that could be, that could come from a lot of different areas. I think what it basically means is when you find some drive to do something and, and you feel passionate about something, you know, that could be, you know, in whatever field you're in, it could be, you know, uh, learning to get good at something and, you know, or to make people happy doing something, you know, um, that's what you go with. You go with whatever, whatever feels like it's propelling you in a way too, you know, so you're not always going against the current, yeah, that is so true. I'm talking to Ernie Hendrickson. He's playing down at the Mississippi Band Shell tomorrow night for music and the park. Uh, you know, talk about this band, the Roll On Band that you're bringing into town uh, tomorrow night. Well, the Roll On Band was the band. It's it's pretty much there's there's a couple changes because uh, uh, people have moved out of town and stuff, uh, but. It's basically the band that recorded my most recent record, which was right before COVID, uh, and the album is called Roll On. So they're they're 
is uh, where we got the name the Roll On Band. And it's a band that really hasn't gotten a chance to play very often. Um, we, were, we were doing a few shows right before the COVID shutdown stuff. And um, if people want to hear the band, I put the whole, the last show we played was at the Hideout in Chicago in, I think it was, I, I lose track of time, but I think it was 2020. Okay. I think it was March of 2020. And like re- literally like two weeks later or something, the governor ordered like all that stuff to stop. Right. But it was, uh, <clears throat> so there's a full show on YouTube. If you go to Ernie Hendrickson YouTube, you can hear the band. But it's um, it's a great band. It's like my Vegas act you know like because <laughs> a lot a lot of times i'm not just playing with me and a guitar you know right but like this <laughs> this band is the whole it's uh it's a seven piece band you know and it's it's got horns and keys and it, it's the whole nine so um it's just and these guys are are just all top-notch players you know they're they're like for me they're like, you know, when I went to make the record, and, and actually even the drummer was a guy, Gerald Dowd, um, who the producer said, let's get Gerald Dowd. So these guys are, you know, it, like Chicago doesn't really have, I guess, like studio cats per se, like some other towns do. But um, but these guys are like making records in Chicago. And, and to me, like, it was like, this, these are the top guys that you're going to, bring in some studio musicians and get this music right. These are the guys that you would get. So um, it's a, it's really exciting for me to be able to take this this band out and play shows. Very, very cool. Yeah, Ernie Hendrickson's with me. He'll be with his ro- the Roll-On Band at Tennessee Band Shell tomorrow night, part of Music at the Park with the Rockford Park District. And, you know, what What else you got? You've been playing a lot of shows this summer. You've been playing a lot out. You know, more of that through the rest of the year, working on music. What do you got planned? Well, I've got – I have to I have to start figuring out a plan for another record because the songs are piling up. I've been writing a lot of music lately. That's really what I've been – how I've been kind of keeping most active – uh, in, I guess, in my own mind with, with music is just, uh, getting into the writing a lot more. And I need to get, I need to get these songs down and I need to get, get them out to the people. So that's, that's one of my top priorities for the rest of the year is to figure out a plan for that. Very, very cool. Where can people find you on that internet thing? ErnieHendrickson.com is the main hub. I do have, uh, well, Facebook, I guess I'm, I'm most active on, and I try to send out a, an Instagram every now and then. And, of course, now we, now we have X's. <laughs> 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 but I hardly, I hardly ever tweet. I do have, I am out there. Right. Lots of lots of crazy stuff out there to find, Ernie. Ernie, thank you so much, man, for, for taking the time and chat with me. It was great catching up and uh, looking forward to the show tomorrow night down at the Mississippi Band Show. Thanks so much for having me, Double T, as always, man. No problem. It's Ernie Hendrickson. Go out and see him tomorrow night. You will definitely love the show. It's Rockford's home for Classic Rock 96.7, The Eagle.